Hi. Okay. I got this and maybe you will be able to help me because I never understand. I got it just like I am showing now. This part, this part, some wires, no manual, no nothing. I also contact the supplier and he told me, ah, I will check, I don't know. Okay, so what is this? This is a whole sensor, all effect sensor for current and voltage, but with additional uh, sync. And the additional sync is Bluetooth connectivity. Now, I really, I, I can't understand why they are sending this without anything. I have nothing about it, really nothing. But it is marked 300 amps. This what I remember that I ordered and it is still 80 volts. Wow, a lot of data. Good. Now you maybe will able to tell me. I see I have three different power wires. Why three? Why do I need three? Why, 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 why don't they never explain anything no data sheet no nothing so let's use our common sense maybe to, to try to understand by the way this this part is of course the wireless i don't know if it is wi-fi or bluetooth i remember this module this is i think the lua module but, but never mind let's check it later try to understand something okay so this one probably connect from here to here because there is no other way to connect it but what about all these wires why do i need three powers maybe i'm missing something nothing is written nothing 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 why do they do it like this whoa i they're killing me killing me because no data sheet so let's connect all of them and as usual I feel like I'm a Chinese en engineer for reverse engineering so let's connect this one and connect this one now what can I do <laughs> you can just supply voltage and see what is exploding first <sighs> so okay why do I need three different power? <laughs> Can anyone please explain me? Okay, so eventually I found a picture, <laughs> just a picture. So, okay, it is now powering up. I hope it didn't yet happen something. So what did I da do? Of course it came with the incorrect switching so i had to remove this jumper uh, to position 3w position 3w meaning it is on the external battery external power supply interface okay uh, seven relay switch selection so this one defined the relay something with the relay okay so relay switch selection if you want to connect this connect your power okay, you can see it is showing something on the lcd now and what other thing so eventually the, the two uh, uh, connection here so i will show you what is written on each one of these so this one is written discharge relay control interface this this one is a discharge relay control interface and the second one is charging relay control interface okay so we have two relays control okay i don't know if this is relay or just relay control interface so it means you should connect a relay or maybe the relay is inside I'm not sure I need to check it about other things so as you can see it is not measuring anything okay. and 
This one will be the minus battery. Okay, now I will connect the same. Oh, this is hard because it is. Okay, I will show you in a second. So let's try to connect everything to the same battery. Aha, uh -huh. and it is showing something. Ah, but I disconnected the main power, so in a second. Okay, so, okay, 12 volts, and I am connecting 12 volts. So the measurement is okay, I will move to 15 volts. Let's see if it is going okay, yes, it is changing okay. Now, of course, I'm curious about the Bluetooth, so whatever interface it has, maybe with my phone, because this is why I actually bought it. So guys, I'm pretty amazed. I didn't expect it to work like this. But after checking it, I said to myself, maybe the wireless is between this module to this module and it is. So I just connected this module to a power bank and it's working. The wireless is actually not for the application is between the measuring part and the LCD so I will show you, I will move to 10 volts and tuck it immediately changes on the LCD so nice, I, I really didn't when I ordered it, I didn't expect it to, to be like this I saw that in my application I can control everything but you don't need because all the control is from this model and this model can be far from this model then you're okay to go. So actually uh, it's, it's pretty a nice way to work and uh, one other thing of course is to check if the current measurement is okay. So I have another way to do it. I'm just uh, moving through the whole effect, a wire, and then I can measure uh, the current out and control it so this is the way I'm all, always doing instead of putting the battery it is, it, basically it's the same nothing special about it and now maybe I will improve so actually I'm quite amazed this is maybe even better than what I thought you just connect this model to 5 volt power bank and, and you can control the other model so Let's now uh, connect. I've connected uh, to the whole effect. So we will go to CER. This should do the reset. Let's see. Yeah, it is now better, but it is yet a little incorrect. I will put two amps, you will see. Ah, 2.1. Okay, so it's pretty, pretty, pretty okay. I put again one amp, 1.1 1 .1 amp, give me probably one amp. Okay, it's pretty acceptable there is an error of 100 milliamp and i'm talking about three 300 amps model so this is probably acceptable okay so quite nice now the only thing i want to to see how fast the model how far sorry the model is working and get the data so i will go about three meters from the model Okay, I'm quite amazed. This worked for me for, for about 10 meters far away from the other model. So overall, quite nice. Now I will go over all the details. You can watch my other video. So I will show you what is the option in, in all the menu and what can control. So you can control 
the uh, valve of charge over current protection okay so if too much current so it will stop the relay uh, you have OCP over current protection you have NCP uh, okay the two relays so one of them for charge one of, to discharge you as OVP charge over voltage protection you set the, the voltage when it will stop the relay or start the relay and then you have out switch of course to control the power out you have lock function to prevent other to, to uh, push the button and you have BAT the default total battery capacity okay this is nice you can change it BPC preset remaining battery capacity you can change of course according to the value put it will uh, it will calculate the discharge or the charge current you have CR current return CR is very important he is doing the calibration of the whole effect sensor you have RET okay you have runtime reset function uh, so after a, a time it will stop the relay you have language so you can change now it is in English but you can change to Chinese you have STI set the relay power on default state okay when you are powering it up if the relay is on and off you have SFH search function uh, uh, if you have a uh, few communication with the same LCD, oh this is nice, you can with this LCD control several uh, several uh, main uh, uh, main board like this and then you have uh, you have DEL set the relay delay working time, this is nice how much time after something happened it will trigger an FCN, communication address uh, for for few groups SNR what is SNR said the screen current screen current the chain automatic screen function whoa this is nice into the vote flow into current is gsd automatically okay so this is very nice SNR when something happened it will light the the LCD and you have SNT set the screen time value okay so how much time the screen is on after you're pressing a button you can set it with a zero it's always on and the last function rfs display the color speech function 